welcome to the Craft House Magic Setter Tutorials. My name's Ellie and today I'm going to show you how I sew my ends in after I've done an afterthought heel between where the heel joins with the main body of the sock. So this is one of the threads that's been unravelled so it's been a bit wiggly um, because it's an afterthought heel and I'm going to just make sure that I use a duplicate stitch here to close any holes up and also to thread in my yarn nicely so that it doesn't come undone. So if you look at the knitting, um, you can see how you would work to duplicate these stitches. You'd go through this hole, up, through there, and back down there, up and down, up and down, etc. So that's how you do a normal duplicate stitch. But in order to close these gaps, gaps up, you need to sort of do a similar action um, but obviously because these stitches are going in the other direction you have to sort of pick up this side in a different place to normal. So I can see that there's a little bit of a hole there so I'm going to close that up. So I'm going to get a little bit of yarn from this bottom edge and I'm going to go up through this gap and down through here and then through the same point as you started to draw those edges together and I'm going to try and keep continuing doing a duplicate stitch here it won't be exactly the same as a standard duplicate stitch um, but you're making that same action so that it's not um, just a straight piece of yarn it's weaving through the fabric so that it's still stretchy so you can see how I went up through those two and then I'm coming back down there and I'm going to continue to work across doing that same movement and it leaves a nice neat finish I'll just do one more up and down so you can see that duplicate stitch movement so there we go that's closed any gap that was left between the heel and the main body of the sock and also sewn to my ends in as well. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I shall see you in the next tutorial. Bye!